If you are a regular visitor in downtown St. Paul, you've probably noticed some big changes going in on our streets. This is a pay station, and this is the new face to on-street parking. I'm Brent Christensen. And I'm Mike Klobuchar, and we're with the City of St. Paul's Department of Public Works. If you're like us, you see parking meters as a sort of necessary evil. The reason that we regulate on-street parking is to provide people with convenient, short-term option, an alternative to finding an off-street ramp or lot. When parking meters were first installed in the city, a coin used to stretch a lot further than it does today, but now it's often impractical to lug around a lot of coins in your pocket just to park your car. This new metering system, called Pay by Space, offers three convenient forms of payment, including credit cards. Later on in this video segment, we'll show you how payment works, but for now, we'd like to describe some of the features and advantages of the new parking system. The first advantage is very clear. Regulations posted along the block, at every space marker, and even on the digital display of the pay station. Parking signs in downtown were long overdue for an overhaul, so we began this project by reviewing all of the signs and restrictions that have been placed upon downtown streets since the 1950s. Businesses, buses, restaurants, and residents, they all have different needs and wants. And as they came and went over a period of 50 years, traffic signs tried to keep up. Ultimately, this resulted in clutter and confusion. We hope that as we install these new meters and new signs, you will find it much easier to know where to park, and just as importantly, where not to park. We don't want you to find a parking ticket on your windshield. We want your visit to St. Paul to be a safe and enjoyable one. Another benefit is in meter operation, maintenance, and parking enforcement. Instead of having to collect coins from 10 or more meters along a given block, maintenance staff can focus their attention on a single pay station. More importantly, that pay station communicates wirelessly with our maintenance staff and parking enforcement officers. Our maintenance staff will receive instant alerts if receipt paper is running low, if there is a coin jam, or if the solar charged battery is running low on power. Our enforcement officers will know whether a space is paid or expired, and our coin collectors will know when to collect full pay stations without wasting trips. So how do you use the pay stations? Well really, it's quite simple. Park at one of the numbered spaces. At the pay station, punch in the number of your space on the keypad and then hit enter. If you wish to pay by coin, you must use quarters or dollar coins. As you add coins, the amount of time you've purchased will appear on the screen. Press cancel at any point to cancel your transaction. If you'd like to pay by credit or debit card instead, insert and then quickly remove your card from the slot. To use a prepaid parking card, insert it into the slot and leave it in until your transaction is complete. You can add time in increments of 25 cents, one dollar, or to pay for the maximum allowed time at your meter, press max time. No matter what form of payment you use, you must press the green print receipt button to complete your transaction. Hold on to this receipt. It is your record of payment, contains your parking space number, and most importantly, tells you at what time your meter will expire. For more information, visit our parking website at stpaul.gov parking. Please drive safe, be patient, and enjoy your visit to downtown.